What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use the Bellows WordPress plugin, the Bellows Accordion WordPress plugin for create a collapsible or a collapsed responsive WordPress menu that you can apply into your WordPress sidebar, footer or any page using a simple short code. So, if you can apply a widget or you can apply a code, a text, you can apply this menu on it. Here is the menu example, okay? Here is the accordion menu example, the below's accordion menu example. It works really, really good and has a free version on WordPress.org. And we're gonna be setting it up and installing it. In addition, we're gonna be sharing more information about the plugin, about the usage, and about use case examples. So, let's go to the point right now, but before anything, please subscribe to the Visual Moodle channel so you can be updated to our new and latest guides because we bring videos almost every week for SEO, WordPress, themes, plugins, we share free assets and ways to improve your website and online presence, okay? So, go to the point. First, go to your WordPress dashboard, okay, and WP admin, and go to the app, go to the plugins, and click on Add New. Here is the plugin, thanks to the Steven Spark. Go once on the Add Plugins page, review the top right corner of your screen, and choose Search Plugins and post the plugin name. So, Billows Accordion Menu. Here is the plugin. Click on Install Now. The plugin is very well hated, have up to 10,000 installation, and the last update was seven months ago. Hope the plugin dev is gonna be updating it soon. Click on Activate button. As soon as you click on the activate button, you're gonna be directed to the WordPress plugin page. You're gonna be redirected to this page. But before we explore the plugin settings, we have the deactivate, the control panel, and the knowledge page. Useful links right here. But this is a menu WordPress plugin, so it assumes that you need to have a menu properly set and working before using this plugin. So Go back to your WordPress, Dashboard, Appearance and Menus. On Visual Moodle, YouTube channel or visualmoodle.com website, you can search for Menu into the search field and you're gonna see a couple of video tutorials and guides explaining how to create, organize, customize and edit your WordPress menus. But to ensure this video and to add some value to your time, go to WordPress, Dashboard, Appearance, menus, and create your, men your menu. Apply some parental structure, for example, the shop, and under the shop you have the submenu cart and checkout. Under the my account we have the sample page, and under visual mode we have team and plugins. Okay? You can set this menu as your primary menu in the case that you want, and you can name the menu right here. You can create on cre you can click on create a new menu in the case that you want and do the same process. Have review the tabs right here into the left side of your screen next to the WordPress dashboard buttons. That is where you can apply page right here. But as soon as you have the menu extractor working in the way that you want, we're gonna be able to explore more about the billows. Accordion menu plugin. Okay, so go again to WordPress dashboard and under appearance, we're gonna be able to notice a new button that appears next to the menu WordPress default plugin uh, button. And this button is called Below's menu. Here 
click on it so we can load the plugin page the editor screen and control panel where we're gonna be able to assign setup and edit our menu starting from the integration that is the main configuration okay we can integrate a specific menu I'm gonna integrate the main menu we can integrate a specific location we're gonna we will not do this previously we can apply some basic configuration we're gonna explore that later but let's copy this short code okay we're gonna select right here we can click with the right button of our mouse copy or just select and ctrl c here is the show all tab okay before editing the menu let's apply it into some page you can apply this into our wordpress appearance widgets and apply it anywhere that you want any place that you can apply a widget into our wordpress website you can apply this menu but for a matter of example, I'm gonna be applying this into a post body content or into a page body content, okay? So you can design your page to have a menu in the middle of it without any problem. Widgets is not the unique location where you can apply this menu. Here is our right sidebar and left sidebar. If you want to apply the menu, the below the below's accordion menu into the right sidebar, widget, go, click into the plus button, search for the plugin element, the plugin widget, and you can see the options to call the menu. As soon as you do this, click on the update top right corner button. So, here is an example of the below's menu accordion working here is how it works let's check how it works on mobile same way so it's fully responsive it can adapt to the column grid so if this column where the sidebar is located have more space the menu gonna be getting more space same if I try to upload this menu to some page let's go to this page page that new you can post the code but for organization click into the plus button and search for the short code Gutenberg block post it right here let me give some page a title let's publish the page let's review the page As you can review now because we have a single column the menu is getting the entire possible space but you can adapt it to your layout I'm gonna go back to my default sidebar just remember that the same process can be repeated in any widget 
location possible on your site. For example, right here into the copyright footer, you can apply the menu right here. You can apply the menu into other parts of your footer. Review our Visual Moto channel for tutorials explaining how to apply widgets to your footer section. Okay, so go to YouTube, search for Visual Moto, and enjoy. Now, let's start the customization process of this menu. You can apply custom code, CSS, we can change the layout by default. Everything is really simple and we're gonna be exploring right now. So here is the plugin page once again. Let's integrate in a specific menu. Okay. Now we have the other options, for example, the disable skin, the vanilla, and the gray. Let's set the gray. We can apply to multiple or for single. We can expand the current submenu. Let's do it. We can change the for the responsive and mobile breakpoint. We can align to full widget, to center, we can set a default widget, we can change the container tag for a div from a nav, for example, we can apply a font family. Don't forget to click into the save change when you have made some of our changes. so we do not lose our customization job, okay? Once the changes are made, go to the page where you manually display it, some page where you can see your read get and review the results you are having. Now, once on general settings, you can apply custom codes. We can change the assets, for example, load font, awesome. In the case that you want to apply some icons to our menu. The miscellaneous. Show admin Nazi, force override, all simple, fast and easy. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. Subscribe to our channel, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. We are all there on, under the name of visualmoto, of course. And I'm gonna leave a link into the video description and into the first comment of this video. And this comment gonna have links for very, very useful contents, okay? So you can, for example, buy a host and gain a free domain, buy a custom domain name for 99 cents per year. You can download free design assets like icons, themes, plugins, Photoshop templates. You can purchase a performance WordPress hosting all in a safe, secure, cheap and just prices with the best condition for the visual Moto followers. OK, and it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I see you later. All the best.